And before we get started, actually, I'd like to mention that there's a just, you know, FYI, there's different kinds of verbs because what I'm looking for is really action verbs. So verbs, verbs that clearly express an action that can tell me that, you know, what, for example, an item could do. Okay, not okay. verbs that represent, for example, relationships. Okay. Okay. So, and the, and the ones that I've identified, uh, I'm underlined here. Actually, I, I underlined complete sentences so that you kind of uh, we can look at the verbs in uh, in context. And the first one is this sentence that says that the library might need to know or to calculate the items a patron has checked out when they are due and any outstanding overdue fines. So I, I would imagine that this is representing a situation in which you bring up a patron's record and you start looking up this information? Is that the, the patron often wants to know um, what they have uh, currently checked out oh, or okay. when they're due or how much they're owed or? Oh, in fact, now that you mentioned that, I think you sent me one of the scenarios you sent me had to do with that, right? With the patron coming in and, and asking for this information. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to model this by adding these uh, three operations to the patron method. The first one I'm going to call items checked out. And basically, it's an operation. I mean, you don't need to, you know, understand the implementation details. But when you call this operation, it will give you back exactly this information. So the items that are checked out by the patron. Okay. The second one, I'm going to call it when due. That will tell you basically when when an uh, item is due. And the third one is going to be called the outstanding overdue fines. And you know, as the name says, it's going to tell you what are the outstanding overdue fines for that patron. Okay. And as you uh, might notice, uh, I mean, I, I'm going to separate. The, the, the attributes from the operations by having a separate kind of sub rectangle. So in this way, it's clear what is attribute and what, what is an attribute and what's in, what's in operation. Gotcha. And um, let me see then. Okay, for the second one, you can see that the patron can check out books and audio video materials. So I guess similarly, uh, you, you'll be looking at the record for a patron, that the patron will give you an item and you will record the fact that the patron is kind of checking it out. Right, and is, is that operation related to this the checked out attribute that we did a minute ago? It is actually because uh, what will happen then again, you know, if you jump ahead a little bit, uh, will be that every time you invoke this operation, so I'm going to represent this as a checkout operation for the patron. Every time you invoke this, you will also have to say something about the item, and so we will also flip kind of that uh, that, that bit of information in the in the in the item. Okay. Okay. And, and finally, here I can see that the patron can request a book or an audio video item that's not currently in. So uh, I guess this is referring to items that are already checked out, uh, but for which there is interest, is that? Right. So particularly the popular uh, items, uh, the patrons want to get on the list so that they get notified when it comes back in and oh. check it out. I see, I see. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm, I'm going to add this method, which I'm going to call request. And I'm going to put it here in the list of uh, methods, uh, in the list of operations for the for the patron. Okay. 